Hello, hello! My name is Callista, and welcome to Late Shift. This is a high-stakes FMV crime thriller released in 2017 and developed by Wales Interactive. Now, we have played a couple of games that were developed by them. Uh, the Shapeshifting Detective, which we literally completed just yesterday, and The Complex, which I completed a couple of months ago. Now, I really enjoyed both of those FMVs, so I, I do have somewhat high hopes for Late Shift. Apparently, we play as Matt, who is a mathematics student who has been forced into a robbery at an auction house. I mean, just from that synopsis, I am very intrigued to see where this story is going to go. High stakes indeed. Now, Late Shift was recommended to me by, I believe it was Brandon Pinson, so thank you for the recommendation. Uh, I did look over the cast list just to see if there was anyone I recognised, and there was Richard Durden. He's a, an older gentleman. He's been in two of my favourite series. Is ser series? Sirai? I don't know. He's been in two shows that I absolutely loved. Dickensian and Jonathan Strange and Mr. Norrell. I loved both of those TV shows. I'm very excited to see who he's playing in this. Now, as you can see, we have the option to resume. I've played through maybe the first two to three minutes. I just wanted to check that, you know, my computer could run the game and OBS at the same time, sort out, you know, the uh, audio and all of that gubbins. And I will admit, I'm a wee bit miffed because there is a promised feature that is missing. So, like in the complex, you do not have infinite amounts of time to make a decision. When you have a when you have a choice presented to you, there is a timer. And Wales Interactive said, I found multiple places of them saying, oh yeah, there's streamer mode in late shift. There is streamer mode. And if a if a developer says, Oh, our game has this feature, then I expect that feature. However, I'm not seeing it, unless I am completely blind, unless it is in a blind spot or something. I cannot see streamer mode at all. I even went back and looked at the complex, and sure as shit, it's it's there very prominently on the on the settings page. It wasn't hidden away in a corner. Um part of me wonders if maybe you have to beat the game once in order to unlock streamer mode, but that that seems very counterintuitive to me, so it's it's rather disappointing that this, you know, promised feature isn't there. It's especially considering that the game has been out for five years at this point, and they've spent five years claiming that this feature is in the game. I am a wee bit miffed at that. However, I did check if you pause the game, the timer stops. So I'm I'm not going to be pausing every decision because I, I feel like that would really break up the game. However, for important ones, I will be using the pause button because I like to talk about what I'm thinking, what I'm feeling, you know, oh, how do I think the character would behave and react and all that gubbin. So I, I will be pausing from time to time. Now, I do know that the first choice, it, it kind of gets into Matt's personality. So... Just just so I don't have to pause right away, I'm going to talk about how I think I'm going to play Matt. Because I am going to be role-playing him a little bit, because I enjoy doing that. I think Matt is... He's a mathematics student, so I think he's probably rather logical, rather rational. Um, good under pressure, I'd say. However, I, I do think he has a tendency of being a little bit selfish at times. That's kind of how I'm going to play him. Not an outright dickhead, but I do think he has some rather greedy tendencies. So that's how I'm going to be playing him. And I do believe that is everything I wanted to talk about done and dusted. So let's jump in. Yeah, that's fine. London. 
Some people say we're all connected. All part of some bigger picture. Some harmonious flow, endless and meaningful. Maybe that's how it looks from a distance. But up close, with eyes open, I see no evidence of any spiritual choreographer at work. No, I see nothing but the random fractals of a selfish, queenless hive. Never looking, never stopping, never meeting. Don't get me wrong, yeah? I'm not judging anyone. I mean, I want to get home as fast as the next person. But is it my unwavering selflessness that allows others to go before me? Or the selfish knowledge that the last one will be the first off? If you're doing it to be first off, then... I mean, someone is always going to end up standing right by the door. I'm just good at making sure it's me. Like it or not, life's a sinister competition. An endless series of choices, large or small, each with its own set of probabilities. All wind. Now that is an 80% chance this is my train. It's Ooh. worth a dash. I couldn't calculate something like that on the fly. Excuse me. Uh, this train. Random variables. Never underestimate the human factor. It'll probably only take a minute. It's uh, It's on the other platform. Thank you. Yeah, I, I don't think he's a total arsehole. If helping will only be a minute, then there's there's no harm in that. Ooh, that is a very nice car. Admittedly, I'm more attracted to the colour. I really don't know anything about cars. Two cars out, the rest are logged. Should be a nice, quiet night. Mm, it should on. be. Yeah, we'll do. Mm, he looks very bored, and his shift's only just begun. Damn. And here they are. The most meaningful relationship I've ever had in my life. With a bunch of metal bimbos. <laughs> Look at you, my beauty. You could keep me in college for over a decade. Are you allowed to just get in them like that? You don't want to get fired. Care for the way he saturates it with his ego. Ah, here he is. Did you put all wrongdoers to flight? Uh, you can leave the keys to me, sir. I'll park the car for you. I'm not the driver, son. Oof. I do beg your pardon, madam. No problem. No tip. Him or her? <laughs> Fuck. Thank you. You know, sometimes choices are so small you don't even see them. You are your decisions, that's what shapes you. And that last one shaped me into a little bit of a chauvinist, just like that pig in a suit. At least she didn't seem very upset. She took it well. God, I, he's reading maths books for fun, damn. Oh, hello. get something not exactly um i'm sorry about before you know just assuming like that oh ignore him he was being an arsehole <laughs> i think your boyfriend's an arsehole <laughs> don't you mm, you could be in there he does have a nice car <laughs> what are you reading just a little bit of light study <laughs> looks pretty heavy to me <sighs> can i help you with something 
I need a favor. Mm, what kind? I need the keys to the Maserati. What's a Maserati? I know it's a car, but... <laughs> Dr. Brent, though. Of course he does. Okay. Okay, then you want my signing for it, then. <laughs> okay. He doesn't know. It's a secret, but I really need those keys. Well, why? <laughs> it's just for tonight. I'll be back before two. Yeah, why? I want to know why you need the car. We don't need to worry about that. Fine. I won't. <sighs> okay. I made a bet. A stupid bet that I could turn up at this party in a Maserati. That was rash. How much is the bet for? A grand. Ooh. A grand. <sighs> a hundred of it is yours. If you let me have those keys. Oh, I'd, I said he was money oriented. I said, I do notice the option to ask for 200. However, that'd leave her with 900 if we ask for 200. Eight, oh, a, a tenth is a pretty reasonable amount. Yeah. And she does have a very pretty face. Batting her oh, hello. What? Mm, that didn't sound good. Oh. Oh. The hell? Look, no more fast cars tonight, all right? Yeah, you might want to run. Mm. Matt, do you have some kind of weapon? I know you've got something in your hand, but I don't know what it is. Could be a torch for all I know. Ooh. Turn around. Slowly. Oh, he got a gun. Now get over here. Drop it. Um, he's got a gun. Smart. Now get in the car. Oi, dickhead. Does it look like I can drive? You get behind the wheel. Oh. You want me to drive you out of here? That's exactly what you're going to do. We don't have much choice. We can't outrun bullets. At this stage, we just kind of have to do what he says and hope he lets us go. Mm. Nice house. So I can go now, right? You stay right where you are. Look, I'm a fucking student, okay? I've got no money. My family's got no money. I'm worth nothing to you. Are you done now? Get in the house. A again, he has a gun. If he gets distracted, maybe then we can, you know, fight back or run away. But right now... Let me check your gear. Just want to make sure I look the part. And I want to make sure we all check your gear, Simon. Who the fuck is that? It's the night guard. What happened to your arm? He fell 15 feet onto a concrete floor. This is your idea of a slick operation. Dripping DNA all over the place, kidnapping the first innocent bystander. I got the card, didn't I? It's outside. 
Jesus Ooh. Christ. And who the hell's gonna drive? Because you're clearly not. I'll be all right. <laughs> no, you won't. It has to be four people. There is no way you can manage the auction assistant and anyone downstairs on your own. I'm well aware of how many people it has to be. You have to call it off. Do you want to tell Mr Wu that we missed the one chance to get our hands on his fucking rice ball? Because I don't. We have one window of opportunity and we're going to use it. Fine. How? Leave him to bleed. You need to make some calls and try and find a replacement in the next... Shit, in the next 30 minutes, call Danny if he doesn't pick up. Try and get hold of that you know, Irish Pete. What about him? Let's put a bullet in him. I don't care. Uh, uh, no, uh... Oh, I, I think I've left that one a bit too late. I think the game's gonna pick for me. Oh. I, I said before I could see him being a, a, a cool operator, but he, he's flashing a gun at us. Look, I, I don't know who you guys are or what you're up to, okay? I'm not going to say anything to anyone. Well, it's not going to take you long to figure it out, is it? Well, no, not if you keep talking in front of me, it won't. It'll be on the news, smart ass. I'm not a murderer. I don't intend to start now. Oh, thank you. Pass me Diffinoxin and a couple of cable ties. <laughs> um, what is... What's that? Diffinoxin? What the fuck is that? I guess we'd have headaches like you. Hold still. <laughs> Hell no! <laughs> Your headache's going to start the moment you knock me out. And why is that? Because your mate on the couch there... He may have brought you the BMW, but he's brought it here with a valet key. A valet key? What the fuck is that? It's a parking key. It means you can't drive faster than 35 miles an hour. Not great for a getaway car, is it? And why do you think it's a getaway car? Your face? Mm. Is this fucking right about the key? It puts a block on the electrics, but we can sort it. No, you can't. You can't do it without triggering the immobiliser. But I can. Smart. Very yeah, smart. Can. Yep. Certainly can. Looks like you just bought yourself a ticket and bought this operation. Are you serious? Are you going to go to the basement? We've got no idea who he is. After tonight, we're not going to see him again. What difference does it make? The difference is this guy looks like trouble. Well, Mr Wu is trouble, and we've made a deal with him we can't go back on. What do you say? I don't care who does what, as long as I get my cut. Oh. Is there any let's chance? This up. OK, let's get set. What do I get in return? Don't push your lock. Oh, he's greedy. Five grand for unlocking the car. And as of tonight, I'm out of a job. So I want a full share. There is no share. I'm taking his risk. So I want his share. Fuck off. Shut up, idiot. I'll be worth the money. Okay, I'll tell you what. You two split 50-50. That's the deal. Done. You can't do this. It's done. God, we're already pissing people off. Put this on. You're joking. We'll find you something. At least we'll get paid. So what do I do next? Do I go along with this and then try and turn him in? Or do I keep my mouth shut and take the money? Maybe we're in too deep. What would the police say about all of this? Mystery ladies and difficult choices. So much for the quiet night. I think you need to tell me what we're doing here. Nerve going already. I'd just like to be prepared, that's all. A very powerful Chinese clan called the Choi's are here tonight to reacquire a porcelain ball that has been in the possession of their family for over a thousand years. Reacquire? What went wrong? A careless business transaction. Mm. So we're here to help them get it back. We're here to stop them getting it back. Oh, that sounds dangerous. I don't like that. I'm very risk averse. I presume you're not buying it. What do you think? Great. You know, I gave up stealing a long time ago. So you to used to steal? To study. Then tonight's your lucky night. How do you work that out? Because the only thing studying will get you is unemployment. Failed education is still no excuse for stealing, you know. We're stealing from people who are prepared to spend millions on a piece of pottery when there are far more worthy causes in the world. What on your worthy cause are you? Tonight I am. Oh. I said before, this guy looked so bored at his job. He looked so 
unspeakably bored. Maybe that's why he's not fighting harder to run away. This is, yeah, it's dangerous and highly illegal, but it's exciting. He said before that he used to steal. Maybe he misses that excitement. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, I guess you could see it that way. You know, maybe you got a point about relieving some of these people of a sliver of their money. Okay, I'm so sorry about having to pause, but streamer mode was never added. Sad times. Welcome to Hainsworth's. The second part of the auction has just begun. Thank you. Nine ten to my left. Thank you, sir. Nine ten. Nine twenty. Nine twenty. Thank you. I see you. Nine thirty. Again to my left. Nine forty. Do I hear nine forty? Nine forty. Thank you, sir. Looking for nine fifty. Nine fifty to my left. Do I hear nine sixty? Fair warning. I'm selling. Nine fifty once. Nine fifty twice. So for nine hundred and fifty thousand pounds, this marvelous twelfth century cabinet with its hidden compartment, which is Holy oh, shit! I'm sorry. If I had that kind of money, I wouldn't spend it on a fucking sideboard. Don't scandalise the old people. Why don't you try not talking at all? So we come. But I do agree with you. I feel must be the highlight of our sale this evening, lot two four seven. And to introduce it, first I'd like to pass you over to our expert, Miss Katie Tran. Katie. Mm. Is this it? What we have here is an absolutely exquisite example of late Ming Dynasty porcelain. Downstairs now, mate. Is the ball there? One of only three beautiful pieces remaining here. examples okay, great. of a red there. phoenix pattern Simon. known to be in existence. Sebastian, if you would please. Thank you very much indeed, Katie. It is a truly exceptional piece. The sale of which cannot be passed without remarking that its owner, Mr. Samuel Parr, who is far too modest to mention it himself, has agreed to donate 50% of the sale proceeds to the Chinese Art Restoration Fund. Generous. Yeah, but he can't afford it. What did we say about that? Okay. Yeah, don't blow your and cover. So we should begin the selling. Thank you, Katie. Thank you, Sebastian. And I would like to start the bidding, please, at two million pounds. Two million. Thank you, madam. Two million I have to my left. Three I'm looking for. Do I hear three? Three at the back. Thank you, sir. Do I hear four? Four. Four to the lady. Mm -hmm. Thank you, madam. Four I'm bidding. Is, is this part of the... Oh, yeah, What the fuck are you doing? Five we get 20% of the Thank sale price, don't we? Phone. Five I have. Do I hear six? Yeah, and you'll piss off the Chinese. Six I'm looking for. Six to my right. Thank you, sir. How powerful did you say these toys are? Do I now hear seven? Seven, <coughs> I have. May, May Ling. Seven. Do I hear eight? Oh, I, I didn't like that look. Eight, I'm looking. Eight with you, sir, to your bid. Looking for nine. Matt, stop her. Do this I this is dangerous, nine? I don't like this. Nine in the room. The odds are not good. Nine, I'm looking. Yeah, price increases are logarithmic. All around the room. Closing in on zero. Nine million to you, sir. Thank you very much. the getting away with another nine million. Oh, less than so do I hear nine five? That's, that's not warning. good. I'm selling. Those aren't good odds. Nine million once. Nine million twice. Sold to the gentleman on my right for nine million pounds. Nine million for a rice bowl. Flipping it. I guess we'll never know, will we? Come on, let's get out of here. No, oh, she's concerned. She's going to be phoning the police. The wall doesn't turn on mathematics, you know. Yeah, but mine does. Well, maybe that's your problem. Right now, you're my bloody problem. A problem that just increased your cut by about 25%? Now that's mathematics. All right, where to? The basement. Jeffrey's going to call the lift from downstairs. Okay, and then? Then you're going to take out the security guard. I'm sorry, I'm going to do what? Just to follow Jeffrey's instructions, darling. Just like you did when you stopped my bidding. So what do I do? Do I play along and try and get out of this later? 
Or do I try and stop this little crime wave dead in its tracks? We're already in. And I don't know what our percentage is, but I mean, I even with the probabilities, how did I end up here? Even ten percent of nine million is damn good. It's a lot of money. You did well, stopping mailing like that. Don't know what got into her. Follow me. She seems to like the rush. You don't say. Okay, the assistant's packing up. You've got to move right now. Wait here. When Simon gives the word, move out to the middle of the corridor and wait for the guard to come to you. Just say you got lost looking for the box. Mm. <laughs> Simon? Are you really going to believe that? He's not going to believe that. I'll handle that. Ready? Yeah, ready. Go. Alert the guard or let this play out. I might not get another chance. Oh, I... I think it's the rush. I think it's getting to him. Okay, Matt, go. The rush and the money. Stop right there, sir. This is a restricted area. What do you think you're doing down here? I, I got lost coming out the lift. No, this floor's staff only. Oh, I was, uh, I was looking for the toilet. No, you wouldn't have come down here unless you meant to. Mm. Oh. oh, God, please don't mess him up too badly. Oh, the... I saw that syringe. Oh, oh no. Grab it, quick. Get no witnesses. We need a bit of help here, please. Oh. Oh Lord. Oh, please don't kill him. Oh God, we don't want a murder in the in all of this. That. Oops. But we've got it. Might have killed a guy, but we got it. Simon, we're at the door. Okay, you have to enter both codes simultaneously. Got it? Okay, timing is key here. The right. keypad is 309220. Okay, punch in the right code and I'm good. On the right keypad, enter this. Yeah. 085209, okay? We need to flee the scene. Got it. Now both hit enter at the same time. Okay, three, two, one. Got it, we're in. And we're out. Thanks, mate. Take him with you. Simon, I'll come to the front to get you. And now we need to drive. We need to drive us. <laughs> like the wind. Jeez. Because that's going to get discovered quick. Someone's going to go into the basement sooner or later. expect this to go that smoothly too smoothly it's very suspicious <sighs> ah, go on <sighs> I have to admit I wouldn't have thought you'd live up to the task oh, thanks I guess and as far as I can see you're beginning to like playing this game <laughs> I think he is yeah I definitely shouldn't I you shouldn't, but that rush of adrenaline is... it's damn addictive. So what's the plan from here? 
Okay, van waiting. Well, nice. We have it. Thank fuck for that. Just get out of it. Nothing here. Nothing there. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back in society. That was way too easy. Way too easy. Let me see it. I want to see the bomb. Just wait. This thing stays in the bag until we get to Wu's place and he turns it into money. Too fucking right. You gotta take a left. Some shortage high street. Hong Kong City restaurant. It sells classy. What are we gonna do about this comedian? Give him to me. I'll pop. Oh, no, on. we had a deal. Not here. Just keep him quiet until we get rid of this bowl. Jeffrey, you're not serious. That there mean, should be some gaffer tape. Uh, mate, somewhere. watch the road. Look up. Watch the. What? This is why you keep your eye on the road. God damn. <coughs> oh shit. Oh, who's alive? Who's still alive? Mei. Mei Ling. Oh, okay. Mei Ling, get her out. We need to go. Open your eyes. Okay, there's petrol. Look, we gotta get out. To be honest, she's what? the only one I care about. The rest were assholes, but. Fuck. Scooch, scooch quickly. I swear to God, if the bowl is broken after all of that. And they were jerks, so we're not going to check whether that's true. <laughs> Just going to assume. Good thing they were wearing their seatbelts. There it is. Ooh. We need to get away from here. Where are we going? Oh. Oh, that is... Here's what I'm thinking. Without, without the other three, that cut of nine million, that's, that's four and a half million. Four and a half million pounds. I, th I think it'd be too tempting. I think it'd be too tempting for him. We're going to take this bolt to Woos to finish what you started. Is it Mr. Woos? Yeah, well, that was the plan, wasn't it? Uh, Mark, the police are coming. What do you want to do, Mei Ling? Do you want to stay here? Mei Ling? She was the only one I liked. Look at me. Look at me. You can't not decide, okay? You have to do something. Come on. Oh, look, come the fuck on, okay? We've got to go. Oh, Dad. She's stumbling a bit. Is she okay? She might need to go to hospital. And I am just about out of time for this episode. In the next one, we meet with this Mr. Wu. And I I highly doubt 
it's going to be so simple as just we hand off the ball, we get four and a half million pounds, and then Matt and May turn to the camera and do a thumbs up like, e, we got the money, game end, credits roll. I highly doubt it's going to be that simple. More things are going to go wrong, but we're going to see how wrong in the next episode. So until then, please remember to like if you enjoyed leave a comment below, and if you wanted to subscribe, it would be very much appreciated. I've been Callista, thanks for watching, and see you in the next episode.